So, today we're going to try to turn the stitching into red. So first we have to assess right here on the grab bar in the middle, on the ship knot, along the window, and glove compartment right here. That isn't much, and let's check out the door. So the door we have right there, here, and there's a very small line right about there. Same thing, we got a stitching running along here, a stitching right here, and a small one right about here. Okay, so that's the driver's side. And also, right about there. I have quite a bit of stitching. Okay, so I need to turn those into red. So we will be using a professional heavy duty vinyl cleaner to clean up the sides and whatever I draw over on the plastics. And we reviewed this yesterday. It's very cool fabric marker. Okay, we're going really quick clips over it right now. And we'll also be using a microfiber cloth to wipe everything up with a vinyl cleaner. Let's get started. Okay, before we go any further, just need to uh, check it out. Okay. It looks fairly good. I haven't used the vinyl cleaner yet, but I will use that to go over it after this. So, I did a little more. Uh, wipe out the excess on the side. I just did one at a time. It goes fairly quick, only take me a few seconds. And it matched out fairly good. So let me adjust the lights a little bit. As you can see, I did this whole roll. It looks really good. Um, I have to do it twice one by one using the brush tip so don't get too much uh, overrun you can get a flat head but you can see there's still a little bit overrun uh, what I did was before I wipe it with a microfiber cloth let me grab that cloth again uh, the issue with that is the factory stitching it's a shiny nylon piece I believe and because it's a shiny nylon piece if I wipe too quick it went back to silver on the top even if it's saturated it's very hard to tell it it's silver on top but there's still a little bit silver on top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the stitching then I'm going to clean it after it's hard to tell if I did overrun just a little bit. Uh, the tip is really nice, this type of tip. So I recommend to get this. Just do one stitching at a time. Okay, I'm gonna continue to do the rest. So, so here's a little bit of a result. It looks fantastic. Some people were suggesting to saturate this down first, either using alcohol or water, so it's easier to apply. Um, I don't think that would be a good idea because I really want this fabric to soak in as much ink as possible. So if you saturate with some other liquid first, it means to just dilute it. As that liquid vaporizes, you don't have that much ink inside the, the silver um, stitching from the factory. So I would do it dry, and when it's dry, actually, it's soaking like a tissue paper. It's just really easy, actually fairly easy to apply. All this only took me less than five minutes to do. And I'm going to pull the shift knot back and do the stitching on the back here. There's no stitching right here. In order to do this, you need to start the engine, which will break down all the way to end. Or you can do a new neutral, but M give me the most stretch. Okay, so I used the vinyl cleaner, dip a few dots in here, and this was dry for a little over 10 minutes. I went ahead, just swipe it over, did two pass with the vinyl cleaner, and also the same thing. The ink stayed. Zoom in. Let's see how good I can zoom this in to show you. The cleaner takes out almost everything. I leave the stitching red. In comparison, let's look at the one I just applied. You can see. Oh, you can see it easier now. So that's what the vinyl cleaner takes out, everything on the side of that. Okay. One thing I did notice is you do have to go back one more time after, after about half an hour. Um, the ink will soak into the fabric. Then we'll start expose a little bit of silver or white stitching. So two coats. So this is all done. Two coats. All the way up. Shift knobs. That, and I'm going to do the other side. Okay, I just did two coats for this guy right here. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, going to 
I'm debating, should I do the door, then do the steering wheel at last? Because it feels like the steering wheel might take out the whole pin, the amount of stitching. So that might be a better idea, is to do the doors on both sides, and do the steering wheel the last. And if I need to get another pin, I'll get another pin. Okay, so this is the result of one pass. Looks amazing. One quick note, if you have a battery tender, I will strongly recommend it to plug it in while you are doing this because the sunlight will be on. Okay, the tip of turning to a mushroom. So we can do this, that, that. This should go fairly quick. It really helps with a headlight. I mean, the LED light right here. Um, because it's so bright, it can really show each stitching if it's saturated correctly or not. I agitate each stitching one by one, really get the result and durability of this stitching down the road. So what I'm going to do is the last piece. I want to see if I can adjust the camera. Going in, I agitate it. I really get that fabric soak in. You can actually move the stitching, it's not that stiff. And then you get a really soaked. Good thing this is not a permanent marker, otherwise I'll be screwed. It's just a diet, so the rest of a vinyl and leather, you can just wipe right, wipe right off. So that's one coat. I'll come back and do the other side for a second coat. That should be it. So one pin, basically, you can do this door, that door, all the interior stitching beside the steering wheel. See, I just, I just do a blotch all over it. And later I'll come back and clean the red off the steering wheel. After two coats, I wipe it down with a simple um, window cleaner. And I think the vinyl is a little too abrasive, the vinyl cleaner. And using the window cleaner, it cleans out all the debris and left the color. I am so happy with this. The red stitching. The red stitching. Yeah, one pen you can do all this. Just gotta do it slowly, let everything soak in. So when you wipe down, the entire stitching is red. Because you will wipe a little bit off the top. But overall, if you look far away, even close enough, it's red as hell. So, it's not as red as after it's dry. After you wipe down, you took out some sheen. But it looks good. Look at that. Oh, this part has a red stitching option. Only cost $8 in two hours. Okay, here's a real test. What does it look like under the sun? Looks pretty good. Looks even better than in the shade. The red is fucking insane. Oh my god. Under the sun looks amazing. Okay, so this shouldn't fade. It says a permanent dye with no fade. And uh, let's see. Take a look at this red stitching. On the steering wheel in the daylight. Nice. Okay, and try the other door. Looks good. What about the sunlight? Oh, it looks nice. Okay, I gotta make one disclaimer. I bought the car new. I never use any armor oil for the inside vinyls or leather. The very reason is I don't like greasy and when the car is under the hot sun, all this thing will vaporize, will get all over your windows, are fogging everything up. So for this car, I didn't do it. Because once you apply one piece, you gotta apply for everything. So you can see how my plastic is very gray, very shaded, flat, not shiny. That also means none of the stitching has any armor oil or other chemicals soak in, any oil soak into the stitching. So I believe the reason this turns out so well is because there's nothing to soak in, so the dye just goes straight into the stitching. If your car uses armor or any other protective product, you might have to maybe use isotopin alcohol to really clean the stitching, get it stripped down to almost no oil, grease, anything like that. That will allow you to get the dye soaked in really good. Okay? Thanks for watching.